Alright, so we'll finish up by adding a final keyboard event, which will be our R key. And we just want to send it back to the middle and start moving again. And done. So now we want to come over here and we want to duplicate our player. But we're not going to be having a second player. This will be our com player. So we'll change our sprite to player 2. Alright, so player com we want on a create event, we want him to start moving up and down at a speed of 5. That way it's nice and even. Then we want to set our collision event with the wall, but instead we want to make it bounce off. We'll drag this to the bottom, and instead of having it stand still, we'll have it bounce up and down. With these we don't need, so we'll just click delete. And that's our com player. So, we'll come back to our com ball. We'll add another event. And that event will be a collision with our player com. That's basically going to be the same as this. So, what we can do is we can hide those. So, what we can do is we can highlight those. Right click copy and just paste them in our com because basically it's just going to do the same thing and that is it for our com ball so we'll come back up and we'll make a new room snapping it to 32 by 32 and this time we're not going to do our walls all the way around I'm just going to do the top and the bottom. We'll set our end zones. And our players. Com ball in the center, and finally our field. So that's our that's our game. That's our second game. So we'll just run that. I forgot to do this. So when you're playing your games, make sure. That the room that you're editing is always on top, otherwise it won't work very well. We have our com player bouncing, we have our ball working, so it all works really well. But the problem is, once that you get into a game, there's no way to exit that game and pick another game. So what we're going to do now is we're going to name our room, which is player com. We'll come up to our player because that's the one object that's consistent. And we'll add a keyboard event. And I'm just gonna pick shift because it's a uh, middle of the keyboard key. So when you hit the shift button, we will set any scores that you have gotten to zero. That way it won't carry on to the other rooms. And we'll go to a different room, which we'll have to set as our menu. And we'll just make a nice little transition there. So now we have to make our menu. So I'm going to just 
load up a menu that I've done earlier. Just something there. And I'll just show you how I got this text here. There's a little text tool here. So when I click there, I can do just a bit of typing there. And I'll just turn that black and up my font. You can see I get a little bit of text there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just move that off so it won't be seen. So that's our background for our menu. And it's 640 by 480 so I don't need to make any changes to it. So we'll create another room, go to our backgrounds, and we'll load up our background. Now right now there's no interaction with our background, with our menu, so we have to make something for that. So just go ahead and click OK for now. Oh, we didn't name our room. Room menu. So with our shift, we'll take it to our menu. And so that's, that'll be a, our link back to our menu. So t now we have to create the interaction with our menu. So don't bother creating a new sprite, we'll just load up an object and just keep it as no sprite. So this will be our object menu, whatever. So for this we want to set some keys. So, one, two, and number three. So, with key number one, we want to set it to go to our player practice room. Also a good idea to keep your rooms organised. So on the second one, we'll take it to player vs com. And the third one we haven't gotten there yet. That'll be our third and final game. So we'll load up our menu. And we'll just put our little sprite there. That's the little sprite for it. So that just means we know that it's there. Okie dokie. Finally we just have to create one more object and that'll be our uh, two player ball. So just go ahead and duplicate the, our com ball because that'll be the starting point for it. So in the create event we have our movement, we have our bounce off the wall, we have our bounce off our player, we have our collision with our player end zones, we have our player, now this is where we're going to change it. So what we have to do is we have to make another which would be actually our cell layer. 